Jesus.
welcome to paradise. All I want is you. Come to my paradise. Last night I found out what's happening. You couldn't eat. You couldn't sleep any longer. I had the idea that I had to find you. Come to paradise. Your master, come, come to me. Listen to what I'm saying. I am your master.
brown with straight black or dark brown hair. They were short in stature, the men probably were no more than five feet one inch tall on the average, and the women smaller. They had rather long arms and small hands and feet. Sloped foreheads and large noses were considered personally decorative, and parents deformed the skulls of young children by fastening boards around their heads. Adults were often tattooed. Spanish Bishop Diego de Landa wrote in the 1500s, They are not white, but of a yellowish-brown color. They have a custom of filing their teeth, leaving them like the teeth of a saw, and in this they consider elegant. They pierce their ears to put in earrings. The Maya culture began as long as 11,000 years ago, with the beginnings of agriculture and pyramid architecture somewhere between 2600 and 1000 BC. During the period from 1500 BC to 200 AD, the Maya created cities, sculpture, mathematics, divinities and myths, great libraries of pictorial hieroglyphics, astronomical observatories, systems of trade, manufacture, and economy based on jade and corn. From 625 to 800 AD, a period of progress swept the Mayan world, comparable to the Greek or Roman classic periods, and in some ways surpassing all other cultures of the far past. Like the Egyptians and Chinese, the Maya were ruled by the scientific, mathematical, and magical decisions of great priests. The priests advised the ruling class and had influence over the lives of even the lowest Mayan farmer. The pyramid of the magician sits astride at the present entrance to the Ushmal ruins. The east facade is faced with a stairway of 90 steps, which passes three terraces and reaches a platform which is the setting for the house of the magician, from which this pyramid and temple take their name. The, the temple at the summit is the focal point of the structure. The, the staircase from this view rounds at the edges to complement the pyramid's profile and descends like a silver curtain from the ground to the temple. Ushma flowered during the era of the classic Mayas, who were a people with no metal tools and no usable wheel. This edifice was built by men carrying stone rubble, probably in baskets slung on their backs by a tump line across the forehead. According to legend, a dwarf who was hatched from an egg, built this pyramid temple in one night, a feat which inspired the name House of the Magician. The rhythm of time enchanted the Maya, the never-ending flow of days from the eternity of the future into the eternity of the past filled them with wonder. Like a miser counting his hoard, the Maya priests summed the days that had gone and the days that were to come, stacking them in piles, juggling combinations to learn when the re-entering cycles of time would again pass the breast the turnstiles of the present. There was a strange mysticism, too, in the striving of the priest astronomers, bringing into harmonious patterns the circling planets, the changing seasons, the shifting sun, the air and moon. Not only the planets, but the very days were divine. But for the Maya held, and in some parts still hold, the days to be living gods. They bowed to them and would worship them. They ordered their lives by their appearance. In the Maya scheme, the road over which time had marched stretched into a pass so distant that the mind of man cannot comprehend its remoteness. Yet the Maya undauntedly retrod that road, seeking its starting point. For them, time receded in endless vistas of hundreds of thousands of years. The mellowed centuries blended into millennia, and they into tens of thousands, as those tireless priests pushed deeper and still deeper into the eternity of the past. In the 9th century AD, Maya astronomers were recording calculations which spanned over 400 million years. The, the desire to probe a half a billion years into the past reveals a strange mental quirk. It was, perhaps, an attempt to grasp the intangible in order to show that infinity has no starting point. The Maya priest traveled 400 million years backward, but he was as far as ever from the beginning which still eluded him. If time consisted of larger and larger cycles, obviously there was no beginning. Eventually the Mayan priests accepted this conclusion. Sometime after the Mayan priests made the 400 million year calculation, in the late 9th century AD, the Maya civilization was invaded by barbarians from the north. Aztec and Toltec tribes conquered various Mayan population centers, and a decline in the Maya culture followed. In 1525, the Spanish landed in Mexico and covered what was left. The Catholic priests burned the libraries, destroying all but a handful of Mayan writings. While there are still over two million Mayan descendants in Mexico, 
the modern Maya confuse Christian myth with their own, and even the few Mayan books that remain are largely untranslated. In June 1980, a satellite using a radar mapping system designed to reveal the surface of the planet Venus was trained on the rainforest areas of Guatemala and Mexico, once inhabited by the Mayan civilization. The satellite revealed canals, previously unknown and completely hidden for centuries under the dense jungle. These Mayan canals stretch for over a thousand miles and finally explain how the Maya were able to irrigate the Guatemalan highlands. They may further answer the question why the Maya never bothered to invent the wheel. of this record in the grooves of this record in the grooves of this record the systems were activated listen closely listen closely listen closely listen closely of this record many light beams in the grooves of this record is silence alone listen closely you will be transported listen closely you will be transported